Hi guys, how are you? Um, my name's Danielle Collins, I'm the world leading face yoga expert if you don't already know me. And welcome to my other page, which is at Face Yoga Teacher Training. So lots of you may know me from my other page at Face Yoga Expert, but it's really nice to be doing the first live on this page. So welcome everybody. And just to let you know what we're going to be doing in this live, I'm going to start off just by telling you a little bit about my journey into face yoga. Then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what face yoga is. I'm going to tell you a little bit of face yoga teacher training and becoming a face yoga teacher. And then I'm going to answer your questions. So any questions you've got about face yoga in general, wellness, being a face yoga teacher, how you can become a certified teacher. And also if you are a teacher and you've got any questions, feel free to put those up on the feed as well. So if I start by telling you a little bit about how I got into face yoga. So my journey started quite a while ago now. So 17, 18 years ago, I was 21. I just left university. I had done my degree in education and English literature and I became very ill. So it started with glandular fever and then I became ill with ME. Now, if you don't know much about ME, it's an illness which really affects the immune system and the central nervous system. And for me, it meant that I was bedridden housebound for very much part of 18 months. Now, during this time, doctors said to me, there isn't much you can do about this. This is an illness that you may just get over or it may be an illness you have to live with for the rest of your life. We're not really sure. And I used to be someone that was very stressed, very unhealthy. I definitely didn't look after myself in the way that I should have. And I knew that this all sort of became part of why I did become ill. Now, someone suggested I try some yoga and can you believe I'd never even heard the word yoga before? So I got a yoga video, so it was the old sort of VHS videos that we used to have back then, and I started to do what I can. And because I was so ill, because I was bedridden, it was very gentle breathing and very gentle stretching techniques. And this really started my journey into self-healing. I then started to look at what else I could do. I started to do affirmations, visualizations, journaling, I started to have holistic therapies, acupressure, acupuncture, massage, and so on, and used all of these techniques to heal my mind and my body. I had to massively change my whole lifestyle. I had to give up drinking alcohol, give up drinking caffeine. These things were really important with at healing my adrenals. And I was one of the lucky ones. Within 18 months, I completely recovered. And I knew that I wanted to help people in a similar way. So whether it be to overcome an illness like I'd been through, or just to feel healthier and happier, and use those simple, effective and supernatural techniques that I had used to heal myself. So I then trained to become a yoga teacher, a professional relaxation therapist. I did training in nutritional therapy and well-being coaching and in face massage as well. And I started to teach a lot of meditation and yoga classes. And I built up a very busy uh, client base of yoga and wellness and um, meditation clients. And a lot of my clients were saying to me, you know, I love what yoga does to my body, but what about my face? What can I do for my face? Now, this is going back sort of 15, 16 years ago now, and there just wasn't the options out there. So there wasn't the aesthetic options there are now and the invasive options. So there wasn't as many natural options either. And I remember when I trained as a yoga teacher thinking, how crazy is it that we learn everything about the muscles and the skin and the body from there downwards, but nothing about this whole area, which has 57 muscles in. So I always had that at the back of my mind. And also when I trained in face massage, it was very much to give clients treatments. Now, I wanted to be able to teach people to do this in their own time, in their own home, in a class situation. So I started to do a lot of research. It was very much a combination of the training that I had done, 
a lot of research into Eastern techniques, so techniques which have been used for thousands of years in the East, very much tried and tested and passed down through generations, but also looking into scientific research. So what we know about strengthening muscles in the face, what we know about relaxing muscles, how the skin is composed, how we can improve collagen elastin, and this research combined with my training but also combined with trialing with my clients. I was in the position where I was working with clients, yoga clients, wellness clients, every single day. So I was able to really trial these techniques out. And this going back 15, 16 years ago, there was no one else doing it. There was no one known doing it. And I wanted to bring together everything that I had created, this Danielle Collins Face Yoga Method that I'd created. And I wanted to bring it to people on a really simple and really effective way that they could just do it in a class situation, do it at home. Now, the first thing that I did, which was very much natural, um, which was very much national, was the Om Yoga Show in London. And I presented there and it was the first thing that I'd done nationally and of course I didn't know would anybody come to this. No one knew of face yoga, particularly in the UK then. And I had over 100 people come to that first class and that really started the interest. And I started to do a lot of stuff on TV and in the media nationally. Um, again, this is going back about 15 years ago now. And then started to do things very much internationally. I then made my first DVD. Um, since then, of course, I've made multiple DVDs and apps and courses and obviously written my book, which is so lovely that it's now been translated into 12 different languages or 13, including English. So that is just so lovely. And of course, now I train people to be face yoga teachers. So um, I offer an accredited course. So the course is accredited by the International College of Holistic Medicine and the Register of Exercise Professionals as well and it certifies you to teach face yoga to groups and individuals anywhere in the world so it's an international and fully accredited qualification and I'm really lucky that so many people enjoy face yoga I mean we have almost 800 teachers in 50 different countries of the Daniel Collins face yoga method and of course there's millions of people across the globe that are doing the Daniel Collins face yoga method it always just blows my mind when I look at some of my um, my YouTube videos have got over a million views I just think it's fantastic that so many people are doing face yoga are enjoying face yoga and are able to do it in their own home but of course also to go to classes and sessions with our wonderful teachers. So that's a little bit about my story. Now, let me briefly tell you what um, the Daniel Collins Face Yoga Method is, if you don't already know. So there's five main aspects to the Daniel Collins Face Yoga Method. So the face exercise, the face massage, the acupressure, the relaxation and the well-being. So super briefly, I'll tell you about all of those. So face exercise, really simple. We're working with strengthening and toning the muscles underneath the skin. And then the skin attached to those muscles is tightened and tautened and firmed. The face massage is about boosting the circulation, helping the lymphatic drainage, really boosting the collagen and elastin in the skin. Then we've got the acupressure. So this is about really helping with that prana or that chi, that energy flow in the face and very much a wellness aspect to that as well. And of course you get all those lovely benefits of the massage in with the acupressure too. Then there's a relaxation. So it's learning to relax tension in the face, to let go of stress from a wellness point of view. So to help with things like jaw tension, headaches, um, tightness in the neck, but also from an aesthetic point of view, learning how can we relax the forehead to create less lines here? How can we soften this area as well? And then lastly, it's the well-being aspect. Now I say lastly, but in many ways, this is probably the most important part 
of the Danielle Collins Face Yoga Method. And any of you that follow me on any of my social media channels or my YouTube channel, if you listen to my podcast, or if you're one of our face yoga teachers, you'll know that well-being is incredibly important. How we feel on the inside and what's going on on the inside, whether it be in the body or in the mind, massively affects the face. So it's great to exercise the face, it's great to massage the face, but unless we're working on what's going on in our mind and helping ourselves with those natural tools, those simple tools, it's not about waving that magic wand and one day we're positive and energized, it's about daily working on our mind and things like breathing techniques and affirmations are so, so important with that. And also looking after our body. So it's about what we eat, how we move our body. All of these things affect our face. So my method very much is a holistic way of working. So that explains just briefly what face yoga is and what the Daniel Collins face yoga method is. And before I take some of your questions, so keep asking questions, particularly if you've got any about training to be a face yoga teacher or if you are a face yoga teacher, um, if you've got any questions about teaching face yoga and so on, I'm very happy to answer those in a moment. Um, so our teacher training programme. So at the moment, of course, because of coronavirus, because of lockdown, loads of people are choosing to do our distance learning option. So distance learning is fantastic because it means that you study in your own time, at your own pace, in your own home. Now you're sent a manual and you can take some time to study the manual. You learn everything from the anatomy and physiology to the face, to how to teach techniques, to how to structure classes and sessions. You learn lots of well-being techniques in there as well. And you go through the videos, you go through the manual, you take your time and then you complete a written assignment. So this just brings together everything you've learned in the course. And then you take some time to have a Skype call. So you can choose either do that with myself or one of our super trainers who are wonderful. And during that Skype call, you do a 10 minute practical class. So a mini version of a face yoga class. And then that is marked for you along with your written exam. So you have the practical and the written exam. And also during that time in that Skype call, you have time to ask questions. So either to myself or one of the super trainers to go through any techniques that you need clarification on. If you want to ask anything, about the course or how to take it forward, then you've got that support and you're not left alone afterwards. You're very much part of what we call our face yoga family. So we all do what we can to help and support you on going. So that gives you a little bit of information. Let me have a little look at some of your questions now. Hi, Lou. Um, Lou says, um, it's a clear manual and beautifully and easily put together. Thank you. Lou has just completed our distance learning option. Um, hi, uh, Makeup by Luli. Can you explain a little bit more of the CPD? Of course. So when you have completed your qualification, you are given the option to do monthly training. So this is CPD or continue professional development. Now this means because you're continuing your training every month, you're listed on our website as an advanced teacher because you are keeping up that study. Now you can also list yourself in as advanced teacher of the Danielle Collins Face Yoga Method. So whether you're advertising that on your website or on your social media. And what you get every month, so it's £15 a month if you choose to do it monthly or you can do a bulk of months together and you can get it much cheaper than that. So you might want six months, 12 months, anything up to 40 months. And that just makes it a little bit cheaper for you. But each month you will get three brand new techniques with videos talking you through how to teach them to your clients you then also get a tip on how to teach face yoga effectively and then also a tip on face yoga as a business so it's a really great tool it means that you can just continue to add fresh techniques to your sessions to add fresh ways of teaching and to understand more ways about how you can grow your business too um let me go right back because there's quite a few questions here let me do this. Um, I'm so happy to start with each training in a few days. I'm so pleased. Yay. I'm excited to have you. Wonderful. Um, Rachel says, I downloaded your book from Amazon. I loved it. 
thank you i'm so pleased um did you use it as an audiobook or probably ebook if you downloaded it we've got an audiobook ebook or of course a regular book um let's have a look Will you please upload as IGTV, please? Yes, I will. I'll make sure I put it straight up afterwards so you won't miss this. That's not a problem at all. Um, let me have a little look. Oh, Lou says your technique is genius and unique. You're so, so lovely and so kind. Let me have a little look. Um, oh, that's nice. Um, Rose Lady Skincare, I have a question about insurance. Do we need to be insured to teach face yoga? So when you qualify in face yoga, you will get a certificate of achievement in the Danielle Collins face yoga method. So this certificate is fully accredited by the International College of Holistic Medicine and by the Register of Exercise Professionals. You will then need to send that to your insurer. And yes, I would say get insurance. Of course, you don't have to have it, but we highly, highly recommend it. So we recommend an insurer when you do your training, but we have no alliance to that insurer at all. It makes no difference to us whether you go for them or anywhere else. So shop around, but certainly get your public liability and professional indemnity insurance. It just protects you just in case. So yes, highly recommend to get insured. It's really, really important. Um, Jack says, is it too late for me to do this? I'm 62 and my jowls have appeared. No, it's never too late. So just like with the body, it's never too late to exercise muscles, to build strength in the muscles and bones. And it's the same with the face. It's never too late to strengthen and tone a muscle. And it's never too late to relax tension. It's never too late to help boost the collagen. Something which I really recommend, which is nice to do if you really are wanting to boost the collagen or you've noticed that your skin has lost a lot of its collagen and elasticity, is to use um, a nightly collagen supplement. So I use a really nice one from a company called Rejuvenated and I use their collagen shots. Um, so I'd highly recommend those. So if you're interested in those, send me a DM. I can send you the link um, to their website and also I've got a code that you can get 10% off. So that works really nicely if you want to really boost the collagen from the inside out, if you are worried about really aging skin. Um, of course, do that alongside your face yoga. Um, Lou says you'll see results done daily within weeks and months. Yes, of course. Yes, you really absolutely will. Um, let me have a little look. Um, yay, Jack, I'm so glad you're going to do this every day to see results. Um, how many times daily do you need to spend on face yoga to see results? So I recommend doing something every day. Now, even if you dedicate yourself to one minute per day, that's fine. You're doing something daily and that's going to build up. Now, my book, Danielle Collins Face Yoga, is great because it's all got one minute techniques. So you can get it as a regular book, um, ebook, audio book. And then you can just pick out what's right for you. And if you can build that up, great. If you can do 10 minutes daily, even better. If you can do 20 minutes, fantastic. If you want to take some time to do about 45 minutes every day, of course, it's not just continuous exercise and the muscles, it's lots of lovely massage and acupressure and relaxation as well then fantastic. But I say do every day, ideally between 10 to 30 minutes, but do what you can. And I often cite the study from Northwestern University where a group of women between the ages of 45 and 65 did face yoga for 30 minutes per day for 20 weeks. And they were assessed by dermatologists and by doctors before, during and after, and also by high sk um, tech skincare machines. And it was shown that their skin was three years younger as a result from doing face yoga for 20 weeks. So that was a great study done by a university. Also, I was involved in a study done with the BBC and it was two doctors and the doctors were twins. And one of the twins went and had a, what they call a vampire facial, which is slightly more of an invasive technique where they draw blood out from the arm and, and then they put it back into the face using needles and it costs a thousand pounds. So he did that treatment and the other twin, of course, also was a doctor, did my face yoga for 
30 minutes per day over one month, so just for four weeks. Now, the twin that did the vampire facial, his skin was actually shown to be two years older as a result of doing this vampire facial. And the doctor did his face yoga for 30 minutes per day for a month. He did my, my program. Well, his skin was shown to be one year younger. So he actually lost a year. And again, it was with a high tech skin machine, which analyzes everything about the skin, the collagen, the um, muscles. So that was a great study as well. Um, let's have a look. Um, can you guide me about yoga for the jawline? Yes, I can show you a couple of techniques in a bit for yoga for the jawline. Um, Truthfully says, is there online all body yoga for beginners? Yes, if you search Danielle Collins in your app store, I have a body yoga app and you've got six 10 minute sections focus on all areas of the body, toning and strengthening a combination of yoga and Pilates. I've also got the um, wellbeing yoga app on there, which is slightly gentler yoga lots of meditation on there so that's really good um but yes i'll go back to the jawline in a moment don't worry um tug sam says hello danielle i bought you also bought your book via amazon which course is the most comprehensive one if i wanted to be a teacher so um if you want to be a teacher it's entirely up to you how you study at the moment, we find that distance learning works beautifully for people because they can do it in their own time, in their own space. Our group courses at the moment, of course, because of coronavirus are not happening. But your other option, which you may like, depending on how you learn, is to do one to one training with one of our super trainers. So you take some time to study all the manual and videos at home first, and then you spend seven hours on Zoom or Skype, whichever you prefer, with one of our super trainers, and they just take you through everything in the manual checking you really happy with everything teaching you at all so if you prefer learning like that that's great if you're very good at learning yourself in your own time with with the videos and the manual and of course you get that time with me or one of the super trainers in your final skype call um, so you do get that time but most of the study is done from home then the distance learning option is great too so hopefully that helps you um once you receive the information to study, how much time do we have until we have the one-to-one -one class? It's entirely up to you. So you can take as long as you like. So we have some teachers who do it as quickly as in a week. So we say a minimum of 12 hours study of the manual. So some people will sign up for the course, they get sent the manual always within 24 hours. We try to do it even sooner as we, if we can. And they study for the week. And at the end of the week, they say, can I have my, um, I've done my written assignment. Can I have my one-to-one -one Skype call now? And then you, they, they do that straight away. Other people take a year or two years because they take their time to go through the techniques or other things in their life come in the way or they just do a little bit here and there. So it's really up to you how much you do. Um, I think you may also be asking if you'll do one-to-one -one teacher training rather than distance learning teacher training, how much time do you have to study until you have the one-to-one -one class? So when you book, we can link you up with the super trainer and then you can book in a time for your seven hours study with them. You'll send your manual and I recommend you do an absolute minimum of five hours study. So you could just do it over one day if you wanted or you can take your time over a few days. Um, gosh, that light's really bright there now. Oh well, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm from Colombia, not English is my main language. Hope being my super trainer, be patient. Absolutely, of course. We have probably 60 to 70% of our teachers don't have English as their first language. So we're always patient, really understanding, and don't you worry. If you, um, I'll make sure that I've got someone that's super understanding for you. So it's not a problem at all. Um, <laughs> Love the face yoga versus the vampire facial. Thank you. Um, hi, Alex. Hi. 
Um, what's the best exercise for a sad smile? Okay, so I'll go back to um, the jaw area and then I'll, I'll work on, on the mouth area for you as well. But any other questions about teacher training, just pop them up there and I'm very happy to help. So let me show you um, the jaw area. So jaw toner, and this is one of the ones you actually learn in the lower face workout in the teacher training course. And this is fantastic. So it not only tones the jaw, but it's very good if you suffer a lot of tension in the jaw. So maybe you grind your teeth or this is where you hold your stress. I know I hold a lot of stress in my jaw. So I do this really regularly. And then you can do up like this. If you really want to work out and tone this area, you can do here. And then it's really toning here. And it doesn't matter whether as you come down, you go like that or you come down like this, but you really want to feel it there. Um, smile, so lifting the smile, lifting the mouth corners, you go. Release. And you can do that three sets, so about 20 seconds each. That one is on my book, um, Danielle Collins Face Yoga. So hopefully that helps you. Um, let me have a look. Um, feel free to pop a few other questions up. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you about the teacher training. I think we told you most things. One of the actually really frequently asked questions at the moment is how soon can you start the course once you sign up? You get your sent your manual really soon so within 24 hours but within sort of definitely 12 hours so we just try and send that to you as soon as possible and if you decide to train with a super trainer um, either because you're doing one-to-one -one or you've picked the distance learning with a super trainer we ask you who your preference is for a super trainer we'll send you a list of the super trainers and you can choose or we can recommend one for you and of course there's a distance learning option to train with me so um, if you want to do distance learning with a super trainer it's three 395 so this is all british pounds 395 if you want to do distance learning where i'm your trainer it's 495 and if you want to do our one-to-one -one option which is where you do your study at home and then seven hours with a super trainer one-to-one -one, that is 595 okay so saggy neck exercise and lines for number 11 lines on the forehead okay so number 11 lines on the forehead this one one of the big, big reasons we get these lines between the eyebrows is because we tend to repeatedly pull this area in between the eyebrows. And we want to relax this proteus muscle as much as we possibly can. We also want to boost the collagen and the elastin and the circulation in that area. So doing that massage one minute per day really helps with number 11 lines. And also um, Anna Maria has also said lines between the eyebrows. So hopefully that's answered your question as well. Um, Cherry's asking about saggy neck exercise. So I'm going to show you two for that one. First one I'm going to show you is the second part of a technique called the giraffe exercise. So fingers here, tilting back, bottom lip out, really feeling this big neck muscle, holding here. Remember your breathing. I'm such a big fan of encouraging the deep breathing throughout and then coming back down and also lips together, tip of the tongue up towards the roof of the mouth. So my tongue's going and I'm feeling it there. So that's really good for the neck area. Again, if you're suffering from a lot of sagginess 
in the neck area, then I would really, really recommend you do include a collagen supplement with that. So again, if you want the um, link and the codes, get a discount on, on a good collagen supplement um, with a great company. They're family owned, everything's very ethically produced. I'm a big fan of them, rejuvenated. So just send me a DM and I can send you the info on that. Um, Simran saying, anything for dark circles? Yes, you really, really want to do um, lymphatic drainage around this area so you can use index finger as long as you're not too heavy handed if you're heavy handed use ring finger and coming round so we're going all the way around here yeah anyone that's asking about the collagen supplement send me a dm and i'll either answer the um, tonight or tomorrow and i will send you the link to the company that i really like called rejuvenated they're such a lovely brand and a little code for 10 percent off as well um so dandelion 44 and um, you're just asking about the collagen supplement yes so it's internal you mix the powder um, into your water so you just have it just before bed ideally on an empty stomach and there's lots of options with it. So their main one is marine based. So if you eat fish, then that was okay. If you're vegetarian or vegan, then they've got a vegetarian and vegan option as well. If you want to include um, something topically that's good for collagen, then I really recommend Bar Serum, which is a fusion by Danielle Collins. And you can go to faceyogaexpert.com slash shop for that. Again, if you want the link, send me a DM and we'll make sure we send that through to you. And the reason that is so good for the collagen is because the molecules of it are small enough to get into the middle layer of skin where your collagen and elastin are. Most creams sit on the top layer of skin on the epidermis and they don't actually get down to the dermis because their molecules aren't small enough. So they don't actually have any impact on the collagen. But Fusion by Danielle Collins was made for us by an amazing skincare specialist, um, Wendy Sterling and her company. And it's all accredited by the Soil Association as organic, it's all vegan it works beautifully with face yoga so it's a moisturizing serum so it has oil quality to it but it's not greasy like an oil you need to rub off so you can use it morning and night in place of your regular moisturizer that's what i do that's what most people do if you want to have a few drops under your regular moisturizer you can do that too so let me see if i've got to see if i've got one here that i can show you here we go oh i've got the collagen supplement here as well so let me grab that for you so that's the the fusion by danielle collins um hope you can see that okay and then i use this collagen supplement which is a little powder i'm going to try and show you the powder and you just mix a scoop of this and a scoop of this in your water in the evening and that is really really good so i love that let me put that down so it doesn't go everywhere um let me have a little look um at your other questions there does face yoga help with acne and acne scars? So if you have quite active um, cystic acne, I recommend not to do too much massage over that area. You don't want to aggravate it. However, a lot of the acupressure points that I recommend are fantastic if you've got acne. They just help with the prana or the chi, help to unblock any blockages in energy. And you of course can do the facial exercise underneath the skin. But all of face yoga is really improving the circulation. So that's really going to help as well. If you've got acne scars, then the collagen um, supplement would be really good. And Fusion by Danielle Collins as well. The Fusion has got ingredients in there which have been clinically proven to help reduce um, scarring, age spots and sunspots. So we've got some really, really good studies on the rosehip oil, a particular organic rosehip oil that's included in there, which really helps that too. It's also full of essential fatty acids. Now, we really need those essential fatty acids for our skin, for the plumpness, the firmness, but also the healing as well. So the healing of acne scars. Now, our body doesn't make essential fatty acids, which means we need to either ingest them. So with things like oily fish, um, 
uh, avocados, um, nuts, seeds, olive oil, all this sort of thing really helps to nourish the skin and provide those essential fatty acids. But also we need to be applying it to the skin as well. So there's so many beautiful essential fatty acids in the fusion by Danielle Collins. Um, Dandelion 44 says, herd bone chicken broth is a good source of collagen. Yes, it actually is. Now, I'm a bit funny about um, cooking up um, meat carcasses. Now, I do eat a little bit of meat now and again. Um, I'm not strict vegetarian or vegan. I do occasionally eat a little bit of meat, particularly around my period when my iron levels get low, because I can be very, very prone to that. But I'm not a big meat eater and I'm not a massive fan of cooking up the, um, the chicken carcass to make the bone broth. Um, and of course, there's environmental and ethical reasons why you may not want to do that as well which I completely understand and completely on board with as well but if we're talking purely is it good for collagen in the skin the answer is yes it is um, let me have a look any natural products for collagen instead of supplements? Yes. So one of the things you really want to do is you want to try and maintain the collagen in the skin as much as you possibly can. Now, sugar, um, alcohol, caffeine, all of these things actually break down the collagen in the skin and particularly the sugar. So you want to massively avoid that. Remember, you've already got the collagen lasting in your skin. So you want to do all you can to maintain it, um, encourage the body to produce more. So also wearing a daily SPF. It's so important on the face and the neck, incredibly important. The sun damage is one of the biggest, biggest reasons that our skin ages. So that I would say is super important. Cutting down on your sugar, if you can cut down on your alcohol and caffeine or even cut those out, then that's going to massively, massively help. And then you need to be including good quality protein in your diet. This is so important for collagen production. Um, lots of antioxidants, lots of fresh fruit, lots of fresh vegetables, lots and lots of water, and then lots of those essential fatty acids. All of those things is massively, massively going to help. Um, let me have a look double chin um does it help with breathing difficulties and snoring so if you go to my other page um after this which is at face yoga expert i have posted tonight a video on sinus issues so if you do snore or got sinus issues do those techniques they are amazing for that um Let's talk about double chin area, which also answers um, some questions as well about jowls. Licorice1968 is asking about jowls. Um, yes, so let me just show you um, this area. So double chin. So basically, if this double chin area is caused by excess fat in the body, the face yoga isn't going to burn off the fat. You can't pick an area of the face or even pick an area of the body and just burn the fat off that area. But what you can do is you can tone up muscle. Of course, you can lose fat from your body and your face through overall weight loss, yes. But what you can't do is pick areas. So let's work on toning muscle in this area. So this one is very good if you've got double chin or jowls. You turn your head to one side, tilt your head up, lips together, and then my tip of the tongue, tip of my tongue is going to come up and down towards the roof of the mouth. So I'm going and I'm really feeling it here. So if you put your hand there, you should feel this working, going up and down. And then the other side. So that one is in my book, Danielle Collins Face Yoga, which is a great, easy reference guide to key problem areas, key techniques that you can do for those problem areas, to the parts of the face and which techniques you do. Also loads of wellness techniques in there, lifestyle advice. So Danielle Collins Face Yoga, you can get that on Amazon. It's also available as an ebook and also now as an audio book too. And it's available as a course. So this is not the teacher training course. This is just a course for yourself. So you can go to faceyogaexpert.com slash shop. It's the second one down there. And and you can get a little 10 day course to do for yourself. Um, 
Let me take one more question here. I will say this is IGTV, so don't worry if you're late to this, it's not a problem. I will post it up straight away on IGTV. Um, removing dark circles under the eyes. So I already showed this technique, which is fantastic. The lymphatic drainage, making sure we're not dragging the skin there. You can also do tapping around this area. We're really wanting to help boost the circulation, boost the blood flow. If you're very prone to dark circles, you also need to be looking into whether you potentially have any allergies. You need to be drinking lots of water and you need to be looking into your diet too. Now, if you listen to my podcast, which is The Face Yoga Expert Podcast, the episode last week was with a, um, a wonderful lady that owns a skincare brand and she talked a lot about the reasons we get puffiness and dark circles under the eyes. So it's a great episode. You can listen to that on my website, faceyogaexpert.com slash podcast or you can just listen anywhere you listen to a podcast or so on your Apple um, podcast app, on Stitcher or on Spotify. So that one is fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Oh, you're so sweet, everyone. I'm so pleased you've enjoyed this live. Let me know if you wanted me to do more lives on this channel with the focus on teacher training. Of course, as you know, I do lives over on my other page quite a lot at Face Yoga Expert, but it's so nice that we've got this dedicated page all about teacher training. So any questions, um, let me know. If you want more lives, let me know. And if you want any links to any of the things that I've talked about, so teacher training, the book, um, the online course, the Fusion by Daniel Collins Serum, the code for the discount of the collagen supplement, let me know. Lots of love. Bye-bye.